All right, it's Wesley with Expand the Craft, sitting on uh, the back of a big liveaboard catamaran with my friends, Todd and Lynn. Say hi, Todd and Lynn. Howdy. Hey, hi. <laughs> and uh, we're just chilling out. I've done a couple of things to, this is actually a sailboat, and we're testing that little motor. That's a one and a half horsepower motor. Uh, there's already video of it moving through the water, so if that's what you want to see, uh, go search for that. This, I'm just going to tell you a little about the boat. We did some modifications since the last test in the water. I have found that, because this is a sailboat and it has a rudder, um, I went and put the sailboat rudder on it, and it'll float here in a minute, you'll see it. It steers so much better with a rudder, and I just locked the motor in the forward position and there's far far less cavitation when you're going forward at seven miles an hour which this little one and a half horsepower can push at six to seven miles an hour and you start turning the boat if you turn it more than maybe 10 degrees it starts to cavitate but when you lock the motor in the forward position and then the rudder behind it is affected by the thrust and of course the forward motion it, uh, it turns so much better and there's no cavitation. Now that is a 16 foot 9 inch boat. It's 7 feet wide and it's on the raised aluminum platform and uh, that's netting on there. That whole thing comes apart and of course folds up and you can stick it in the back of a small SUV. That entire boat, the whole thing, can go in a Nissan Rogue. Yeah. Um, that's the bowsprit on the front, so when it's rigged for sail, uh, of course I, I get rid of the, the seat, which in this case is just balanced there, it's not even bolted down. But with a boat that's 7 feet wide, 16 feet long, it's pretty stable. Well, you can see, uh, I'll try to focus in a little bit, sometimes it gets pixelated when I focus. That's the rudder behind the motor. And then, uh, I kind of jury-rigged a longer handle so that I could sit facing forward and what I do is uh, turn the motor to what speed I want and then uh, just spin around and use the rudder to steer. Well that's the boat. Go to the other videos following and uh, see it going through the water. Uh, we'll, we'll make another video of this one going through the water while using the, um, the rudder. Uh, the two videos that I do have up right now have me leaning backwards, uh, steering the boat with the motor itself. But it's a pretty good video, so check it out. Expandacraft.com. Don't forget to uh, check us out online and uh, sign up for, uh, subscribe that is, to our channel.